Hi guys, how are you doing today? As you saw it in my short earlier, or some of you may have seen, some of you may not, um, I was playing with my gel plate today, um, and then uh, I finished that, and then I did some painty papers. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I got. This is just a section, I don't know. Uh, this was painty papers that I did, and then I, I, I cut out the, um, I stamped the pumpkins and cut them out. And I have a little bit of uh, scrap paper to use in collage as well. So some of them, he's got the little curly cute. It makes him a little harder to cut out. He didn't come out very dark. And then I was trying to, just did the ripping thing, just to, just trying some different things. Try to circle all the different things in him. And then this one, I stamped the mushrooms on. But they're really dark, so I want to figure out how to bring them forward. I may, let's see, let me, let me try it right now real quick and see. Let's see, maybe, is there one that's more dark than the others? No, they're all pretty dark. I want to see if I just kind of go behind it a little bit, if, if I can see. The light reflects weird for me. So almost like give it a little bit of a, a glow problem is if I go beyond the black line I'll lose the line of my um, of the stamp itself that's the only problem and if I kind of well that just took it away completely that wasn't what I was wanting that did too. I don't want it to go away completely. I just kind of wanted to lighten it a little bit. So I need to let it sit there a minute. Which would actually kind of be kind of cool if there's like this little glow behind them. Because they're mushrooms. And they're sort of like little magical things in the forest. I just don't want it to be too white. So I'm kind of like leaving it there for a second. And then, go. I can't see, I my light is really awful. <laughs> it just reflects really weird, probably does for you guys too, but I might go back through and do that with them. I don't know. It's a thought. What do you guys think? If I, it brightens, it helps you see the mushrooms a little bit better. Just kind of gives a little, I've got other white pens that I can that I can try as well. So I did all the Tim Holtz mushrooms and I've got a little bit of paper for um, uh, for collage, thank you very much. That was those. And, oh, I was gonna show you the paper pack. This is why they're eight by eight inch papers. Oh my goodness. So this is like just part of the paper pack. It, paper pack. It came with like a lot of paper and it's been sitting here forever. Thought I'd use it more. I don't use it more. Uh, possibly, I mean, not even for collage, surprisingly. All right, that was just a section of the plate. All right, what was this one? You can tell they're gel plate ones because they have that on the back. So that one, you can see a little bit of a, a leaf there, but it's got the orange and the teal. And these ones had red, orange, a lot of white showing and so these were all jelly plate the um cards the index cards that's what these are and that was just a part because you know you end up with extra space these are painty papers so like there's a map behind that one not sure if you can tell i think this one is also a map no this one is one of the ones where there's just like a bunch of like uh uh oh what's the word i want <laughs> Anyway, I'm afraid it looks a little bit, not Christmassy, but it's red and green and because those are kind of like dark green and red. So I'll probably add some other colors and some gesso to that. Uh, you can see where that says paid there. So that had documents. Is that what I was trying to think of? Like where they're just kind of like all over the page. That's what those were kind of like. This one <laughs> kind of missed all the edges. So I went through and did some stenciling and some inking, but I used distress ink. So if I Bladder some water. I'll get that mottling effect. And this one. 
it's just, I don't know, it's too grungy. This one still needs something, but I haven't gone through with gesso on any of this yet. And this one I was trying the leaves and I outlined the leaves with that. That's on um, craft paper. That just has some color and some, that new stamp I got with like the little print going every which way, that's on craft. This is just on copy paper, which is slightly gray. So now you can see that news, not newsprint, but you know that print and just random I just kind of went through and I don't know I'll have to show you how I, I've done painty papers before a video on that but I'll do another one soon I guess and then that one has the background and then I did kind of like the beach leaves that would be and this one uh, we'll probably get that's also on the cardstock craft cardstock probably cut that down into tags and then decide what I want to do with it at that point then here is I don't know if you can see there's some bronze Tim Holtz leaves, skeleton thingies, and some stamping, and some cross hatching, or whatever. You know, I use the card. And this one also has some, oh, copper, actually. Copper leaves. Is, so, kind of subtle, but, you know, all full colors, all messy. Alright, gel plate. That was on the gel plate. And this one was on the gel plate. The yellow helps brighten it up. Oh, this is the one, if you saw the short and you saw the leaves on there, this is, I put blue behind it. And this is what it ended up looking like. And that I already showed in the short. I think I showed that one too. Oh, she's, I just do it on pink parchment paper because I am i don't like the pink parchment paper. So I'm just kind of changing it up. So these were all gel plate. And hold on, there's a, there's, why do I think there's more gel plate ones? No, there's not. My my brain's doing all right. And then this is this was just a pickup from after I did. It'll make more sense if you see it. This, which I think came out really cool. So I will try that technique. <coughs> Excuse me. I will try that technique again. And I also want to try it on some thicker paper because I ordered. I, I got I ordered it on Macari and I really really hope I actually get it uh, the the bit Sizzix bigs the tattered leaves so I want to do some of that and I'm not I'm not loving this one I was I was I told myself to use more red and then I had like this big load of red on my palette and I was like had to use it all so the first layer of everything is red <laughs> On this one, uh, if you saw me do that stencil the other day, I just used my white gel 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 pen and just traced in the stencil to get that design. This one I did markings. It's just little squares. I don't know if you, if you can see them. I, I was practicing doing markings today, and this one's got just little circles and stuff. You can kind of see the print that's behind there. And this one, you can kind of see like all the advertisements and what documents that are behind there. And so there was some red documents and I also did some red paint and I don't know what I did. This one, you can see the background clearly. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's a weird thing ever since I had COVID the second time. My throat does a weird thing. Um, so yeah, there's some yellow paint and the red circles and some stamping. Just, um, I didn't do much to it because it already had a pretty good background. <laughs> And this one ended up having a lot of red, and so this is actually more of a, a, a wine color, I guess. Plum is what it's called. And I did some more markings or doodles. So I used the white gel pen and um, did that all over that. I guess it goes this way because there are words back there. And I will, I think what I'm going to do with a lot of these is, um, oh, maybe not that one, is do some oh, more markings and some stamping. Um, is to do some um, inks on the back if, for the, any of the ones that I want to use as pages. But a lot of this is probably just going to be used on collage and on tags. So some cross hatching, some little leaves and bigger, I don't know, I was, I was practicing doing some marking today as you can see. So yeah, that's what I ended up with. And that was another one of those stencils. I think it looks really cool where there's like 
with the off white in there and then you can see this in white on here which kind of spreads it out a little bit i don't know it doesn't really go with the markings i made originally but this was a gel plate and i just added some polka dots and this was another painted paper and i I really like doing those leaves apparently <coughs> excuse me but that one came out cute and then this one is on the craft cardstock as well and it's got some copper um on it with the green i don't know you should have seen all the colors i had on my palette when i was putting them on the brush you still pretty much end up with teal you don't actually see all the different colors on that one i don't know if you do on any of them where's the that one had a lot of that too because I was smooshing it with that one. But, yep, so that's what I did today. These will probably just be tags. Turn them into tags. I think they'll make really fun tags. I was thinking I'd cut, cut a couple down and let you see. And then I don't even have to do much to the back. Let's see. I like a good 3 by 5 or 6 inch tag. And when I'm too lazy to do that, I just... That's about 6 inches. Oh, Nathan sugars are high. So then we have a little tag. Or a tag or whatever. And a little thing. Could be a pocket or a tuck or whatever. So I thought those would be fun. Oh, we like to have a big tag, right? So four by about six and a half, let's do. And that will give us a big tag and a little tag and then I might just do little tags for the rest so one two three there's about four so I'll do two and a half inches and this one is four inches so I'll do two inches so then just end up with these little cute little tag bases so yeah that's it for today i hope you all had a good wednesday um i hope anyone in uh the louisiana area has didn't have much damage or any damage and for everybody else just try to stay dry uh that's at least on my side of the country just kind of dark and rainy here right now but not too bad and uh, if you're interested in ever seeing me do a live, I'm going to be starting up lives again in uh, Junk Journal with Penny. It's a Facebook group. Uh, it's open to anyone. You just have to, you know, Junk Journal with Penny and ask to be part of it. And they usually approve you as long as you follow the rules, which is basically be nice. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, don't sell things, I think is the other one. But. So yeah, so um, Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be doing lives again. We took the month of August off. So, and there's other lives like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard, whatever time. There's, there's lives those nights that other people do. Um, so yeah, if you're ever interested in checking that out. And aren't you so glad I did my nails? They got, uh, this is after I got as much paint off as I could. <laughs> Whatever. I'll keep doing my nails. I'll keep playing, paint with paint, <laughs> playing with paint, and I'll just have grungy nails. No big deal. I hope you all have a delightful day and know that I love you. And I look forward to reading your comments and replying to your comments. It, it really brings a smile and a ha gives me a happy heart. So I will uh, see you all later. Well, talk to you all later. I don't usually get to see you. Love you guys.